and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a full face glam get ready with me using all drugstore products. I don't even know if I've ever done this on my channel, which is very surprising. There's so many gems in the drugstore. So if you're interested in seeing a full glam transformation using all drugstore products, then just keep on watching. So first off, before we get into actual makeup application, I just wanted to address my skin. I have been struggling, as you can see, a lot with my skin lately. I have tons of scarring here. This is all from the topical acne treatment that I use. It leaves a ton of scarring and redness. Coming on camera today with my bare skin, editing this back, just having to look at it is going to be hard for me. So just please be kind about my skin. I'm going to start off with the Ordinary Magnesium Phosphate 10%. This isn't technically a primer, it's like a moisturizer, but I went ahead and washed my skin and then haven't put anything else on it. So we are going to use this as our base base. So this is a brightening hydrator with vitamin C derivative. So we are going to go ahead and apply some of this. Keep it simple and use this for hydration and then go in with our next one for some glow. And my skin is super, super dry right now and also very sensitive from all of the acne cream that I've been having to use on it. So yeah, we wanna be a little more gentle with our priming today. And now we are going to go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion and this is in Fair Glow. I believe they have three different tones of this and this is the more pinky cool toned one. It's like a little bit of a champagne pinky shade and this just adds a really nice shimmer and sheen and glow to the skin. So we are going to put that pretty well all over the face and blend it out with my fingers. So this is how my skin is looking with those two primers mixed. It feels very hydrated, not too glowy, not too intense. That Glotion isn't as intense as like MAC strobe cream. It's a little more subtle, but my skin feels very hydrated and prepped and a little bit tacky, which I like. So now we have two foundations, like I mentioned. The first is the Koki Skin Perfect HD Foundation, and this is in the shade 10W. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. It is such a gorgeous finish. And then when I was away in Chicago recently, I was on a hunt for the CYO Foundation. If you don't watch the Taylor here on YouTube, this is her favorite foundation. She raves about it and it's being discontinued. So I've been looking for it for like two years now. I've never been able to find it. I found it at one of like five Walgreens that I checked in Chicago and I picked up two, but this is the CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation and mine is in the shade 101, which is what the Taylor uses. She has very pale skin as well. So I'm going to be mixing these two together. I've never tried them together before. I've only tried this on its own and this on its own. So the CYO one is very like neutral to cool and then the Koki one is a little more warm so figure those will mix well together. Now I'm going to bounce it out with a Real Techniques sponge. This is like my preferred sponge and it is drugstore so I'm going to bounce this out and hopefully get the coverage that I want. So this is how the foundation looks all blended out. I think it looks really really nice. The coverage is really good. It's not too insanely full coverage like you can still see those really prominent red spots in this one up here but it did cover the smaller spots really nicely and i would say it has like a medium to buildable coverage together mixed together skin perfect hd by koki is more of a natural satin and then the cyo has a little bit more of a luminous finish so that would be where that is coming from now i have two concealers i have the covergirl true blend undercover concealer this is a newer concealer and i've been absolutely obsessed with it lately mine is in l100 fair porcelain and then i also have the maybelline fit me in five ivory so I'm going to go ahead and take the CoverGirl concealer under my eyes just because it's a little more brightening I find. Cupid's bow and on my chin and then in this area here to highlight and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out and then I'm going to go back in to the Maybelline Fit Me to spot conceal. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out first. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline 
fit me and I'm going to spot conceal with this one. I'm going to go ahead and blend that with my Real Techniques sponge. I think that coverage looks really nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and set the under eye and chin area and like around the nose with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is just in translucent and I like to just make sure my under eyes are like fully pressed down before I go in with this so that we don't get any creasing and I put my sponge directly in the powder like so and do the same just pressing that under my eyes while looking up and that hopefully avoids creasing. I still get creasing always anyway, but this minimizes it. And then I also get creasing on the sides of my nose, so I like to put a little bit of extra powder in that area. Now that the under eyes and my nose area is set, I like to go in with a all over face powder. This is the Pixi Color Correcting Number no. 1. I typically, on a daily basis and when I'm doing glam, I go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder because because I find it to be the most blurring and the best base for bronzer and stuff but I like having a base regardless so that my bronzer and all my other powders go on really nice so I'm just going to lightly take this on my Sephora Pro Airbrush 55 and press this into the skin to prepare for my other powder products so they blend really smoothly now we are ready to move into bronzer so again I have two bronzers but each of these has a specific purpose so I have my Maybelline City Bronzer Contour in 100 which is I think the lightest so this is a more neutral bronzer and then I have the NYX matte bronzer in light and this is definitely a more warm tone bronzer so we are going to start off with this Maybelline one to get not really a contour but just like a more neutral definition in the bronzer areas and then we will go in with the next one as a much warmer bronzer and I'm just taking a big Real Techniques brush to do this. Now that I have that Maybelline bronzer nice and distributed, I'm going to dip into the more warm red toned NYX bronzer to add a lot more warmth. Now that we have both of those bronzers on, I like to go back into the translucent powder that we used for the under eye area, take my Real Technique sponge, dip it right in again, and then carve out that bronzer area to make it very precise. And now that we are all baked and our bronzer has time to carve out and sit. I like to go in with highlighter next. So again, I have two. I have the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner in Pearl Crush. So I'm going to first go in with this one with my Morphe R36. And then I have a slightly lighter one. If I'm going in with two and one's darker than the other, I like to put the one that's a little darker on first. That's what I'm doing with this CoverGirl one. And then I'm going to go in with my slightly lighter highlighter. This is a ColourPop Stole the Show. This one's a super pretty light champagne and I'm going to take this on a fan brush to get it a little more precise on my cheekbones. That one is so pretty. And right after highlights, I like to go in with blush. So I recently picked up the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. I picked this up and then they're like um, circle blushes, the little balls. But I wanted to go in with this high score blush palette. I think I'm going to go in with this top one because I want to do like a pretty pink lip. So I want my blush to kind of go in line with that. So I'm taking that on my Luxie Large Angle Brush. Just that top blush there, that one and putting that on the cheekbones. I don't know if I've used this shade yet. And that is what the blush looks like. I feel like they look a little different. Um, I'll wait to fix it up until the rest of the makeup is done, but that shade is really pretty. Now before we go in and do our eyeshadow, I'm not going to do a ton for eyes. I'm going to do like a pretty soft brown golden toned eye but I wanna first carve out my brows, and you guys know pretty much all I ever use is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, but I did pick up this NYX pomade for my Full Face NYX tutorial, um, and this is in Brunette. It's just their Tinted Brow Pomade. I'm not a huge fan, but I don't have any other brow products that are drugstore, so we are going to go in with this one and make it work, and I'm taking the Anastasia 
Anastasia at number 12 brow brush for this and I like to wipe off all of the excess in the top of the lid so that we don't go too intense right off the bat for the brows. Now that my brows are done it is time to go in with shadow and I decided to pull the Dream Street Kathleen Lights and Colourpop palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. Super pretty like neutral warm tones. We are going to start out with this shade here and put that right into the crease. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this darker shade called Mooney and I'm going to put that a little bit in the outer V. And now I'm going to take this shade in the bottom corner here called Shooting Star and put that pretty well all over my lid. And then in the very inner corner, I'm going to take this slightly lighter shimmer called Spark. Now I'm going to wipe away all of this fallout, or not fallout, I'm going to wipe away all of my baking. So while I was wiping away all of that fallout, um, my camera overheated and shut down. So I just went ahead and did the next step, which was lining my lips with the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob. This is like my go-to pink. Super creamy, really easy to overline. I really like it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put on lashes. So I actually picked up these lashes. This is like the only new product I got for this video. These are drugstore, but they are a Canadian drugstore. So you can get these at Shoppers Drug Mart if you are Canadian. Quo, which is the like inside Shoppers Drug Mart line, came out with faux mink lashes, which are actually really pretty. They have four different styles. And this is the style Foxy. These retail for $12 Canadian. The fact that they came out with these is super exciting and these look very pretty and promising. So I'm going to go ahead with my duo lash glue and I'm going to adhere these and then I'm going to blend them with my real lashes afterwards with the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is like my favorite drugstore mascara but I like to apply mascara after I put on the lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these and fast forward this portion and then we can finish off the lips. So now that my lashes are on, I am ready to go in with my two lip products other than the liner, which I already did. For my lipstick, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Matte Lipstick in Name Drop. This is like a warm toned pinky nude and I'm gonna put that all over my lips. Now I'm going to go in with this gloss. This is also a new product from Quo. This is the Quo Glossy Lip Icing and there's just one shade and it's like a really nice soft pink. So I'm going to add this on top to make it a little more pink. And then lastly, to set everything in place, I'm going to go in with the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. This is like my favorite drugstore setting spray. So I'm going to tuck all my hair back so it doesn't get wet. And I'm going to go in very generously and set my my entire face with this. So with all of that setting spray added, we are all done. So this is the completed full face drugstore simple glam look. We did full coverage comparison of the before with my acne to this is pretty great considering we used very, very affordable products. I tried to keep it for the most part like low-end drugstore, but I did have some products from Pixie and L'Oreal, which tend to be a little bit higher. I think that this video was super fun to film. I am surprised that I hadn't done a full-face drugstore glam before, but if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it and comment down below letting me know if you want to see any other full-face drugstore store themed videos. I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. That is all that I have for you guys today. So I hope that you had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!